Hi friends, welcome to Integrately. In this video, we shall learn how to avoid the complicated if-else nesting in Integrately. So suppose I want that when a deal is created, I want to add a subscriber to the tag, okay, depending on its deal stage. If I have five, initially, actually it meant that I would have to make an if-else nesting like this, see, if this stage, then do this for another stage do this else for another stage do this something like this you know i could also add few more uh, if else here depending on how many so that makes the process and the automation a bit complicated you know uh, constructing this if else nesting was also an issue so we have come up with a very smart and easy way to tackle this and now my flow just looks like this a simple three step flow. So let's see what all was required to eliminate all the if else nesting and just make it a simple three step flow. Now this, let me uh, just say that this is only possible when your ultimate action step is going to be the same, you know, uh, just one of the fields that you are going to map will have a different value depending on a particular field from your trigger like in the, this case my tag in convert kit would differ depending on the uh, deal stage from company hub so what i have done is i have added a google sheet here okay and then i have said that you will add a subscriber now let's see what this google sheet has this is my google sheet okay I have the deal states and I have mapped the tag IDs from convert kit depending on which uh, deal stage should that corresponding tag ID be uh, linked. Okay. Now the question is how do we find this tag ID in convert kit? It is pretty simple. If we go to convert kit, you can see I have these several tags here. So if I click on this tag, you will be able to see that I have this tag ID here. So all I did was copy this here and pasted it in my lookup sheet. And for future reference, I have given the name as well. What is the name of that tag? So I have my trigger here. Okay, my deal is created. I have this search step using uh, Google Sheets. Okay, so in my column, what I will do is I will search using the deal stage because this is my deciding factor and the text would be the stage okay this deal stage now I have to do is test it's correct next when I come here I just have to map the tag field now this requires tag ID so simple copy from field we go for the next step and we have this tag ID here. Okay. Okay. The email is from here, the trigger field. Okay. Okay. And the name, let's say, suppose it's the D name, it's upon us. And I'll say test. Let's go to convert kit and check whether the action was performed. Let's go to our subscribers once again and see. And you can see I have the subscriber. And that, okay, let's click on Dan. And he has the tag says Facebook. So, the same concept of lookup can be applied in uh, several scenarios. Like, suppose uh, there is a purchase and I want to enroll in an online course, okay? So, I have the course IDs here. Uh, or maybe Slack, I want to send the message in a certain channel based on the course. So I would put up the channel IDs here. Okay. Suppose I want for Gmail for a different uh, deal stage. I want a different email body. Okay. Or maybe for some purchase or any course that was bought, I want a different email body. So I'll just, you know, write the email body over here and map this there or for some email marketing automation, just like convert kit. I want to subscribe that particular contact to a particular mailing list. So again, I have that field here. It's the course and I have, you know, 
the mailing list IDs. It's pretty simple. In the first column should be the lookup field from the trigger, okay, based on which you will have a, uh, the outcome going to the action app. So uh, in all of these scenarios, you can just, you know, insert a search sheet step and then your action step. And just with three steps, you'll be able to fulfill all your if and else conditions without any nesting. Hope this helps. Thank you.